Okay, today we are installing the new Subaru OEM kicker tweeters in a 2022 Subaru Outback Wilderness in a beautiful shade of geyser blue. Uh, these um, appear online to be the bee's knees, and what you want to do is um, do a little DIY. And so let me go over some tools real quick. I made this little makeshift tool right here in case I can't get into the screws. I've got one of these guys here too. I do have some painter's tape just in case I want to cover this end. I don't want to scratch my windshield when I go to pop this cover off up here. Uh, I do have tint up here. You can see they did a little, let me see if I can get that. Actually, this will be interesting information for you, right? There's a little cutout. You can see the edge of the cutout goes right along here. But I do have a tint on this, so I don't want to scratch it because it is, it will, you know, it is susceptible to that. But really the whole point of this video is to do the install uh, and then also uh, do a sound sample, run a dB meter here to compare the before and after with the stock uh, tweeters with the ambient level in here, usually which is around 30. This vehicle, by the way, has horrible sound insulation. <clears throat> That'll be an upgrade that I'll add when I get the speakers and the doors done front and back. I wish I could do it everywhere. Pull the headliner out, put it in up there, do it everywhere. It's really bad sound dampening in here. So uh, so anyway, what I have here is a sound sample from Mr. Chris Arms. He, uh, This is the um, song called The San Diego Kid. I have it on Spotify here. I've got three phones I'm doing this with because you can't do Bluetooth. Point of order, I will be using Bluetooth. I know the sound quality isn't the best, but it's what I have. And I'll be able to measure the difference here. We'll try to get a copy of that on video. Uh, let's get the ambient level in here, which is usually around 30 or so. This car, like I said, is horrible sound dampening. Here we go. A car drove by. Bump that up a little bit. All right, let's get the sound going. Uh, this will be short, so shouldn't be too bad. We're just going to record it. We're going to watch the meter here. Okay, here we go. All right, so the point of that was for you to just have your ears on this, listen to the difference between the factory tweeters that are installed and then what they'll sound like after the kickers are installed. So we're just gonna, we've got a nice control here. What is my volume level at? Let me get this on record. It is at 20. There we go. Oh, the next song's starting, sorry about that. Okay, good, let's get the install going. Let's use the old spatula. Oh, it came right out. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Doesn't look like anything was damaged. That's nice. You know what? I wonder. Goes right in. All right, this is interesting. So, <clears throat> I wonder if the, oh, check it out. Well, that answers the question. I guess alignment will be the ultimate test of this, but when I look at the speaker that's in there right now, you can see it has a little depression those rings where that ring sat in right there on this foam so that's like it's it's fit pretty well so that's probably to keep i don't know all the varmints and stuff out of there so i can see a screw right here 
and I can see a screw right here. Let's take a look a little closer. There's a screw. And that's close. Got this little L screwdriver tool. Nice and small here. Uh, I don't want to scratch my my tent that I have on the windshield here. Um, so put some little tape on there. Here we go. Let's see if I can. I can see it. Good. I got a good bite. One. Ooh. All right. This is just going to be. There we go. This is the tool to use for sure. Uh, this is supposed to be plug and play-ish. I mean, I suppose this would be easier if you had the hands of like a five-year-old. It's easy, they said. It's plug and play, they said. Seriously, this needs to be a competition. Who can... Oh my goodness. just the most basic lowest least they could do to call it the sound system there's a little tab right here you can push that in it looks like yep it's moving in order to get this plug out so this plug points back it's sitting in here like this all right here we go Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Well, as you've seen around other resources, I'm sure this is nothing new for you to see. Significant weight difference. Heavy, it's expensive. I don't know if that applies here. Um, that is all, all contained in a little, a little thing here. But I can see the magnet through the back of this, and then of course I can see the cone on this tweeter. Now, this was pointed backwards, so that means <clears throat> the kicker logo will be to the front. Nowhere near the same size. Let's get that grill back here. Okay, so that's that on top. That's it. Oh, look, it's already re returned back to almost not having a mark on it at all. Okay, pointless. All right, so let's check for fit here. It's lined up. Gulp. All right. So that verifies something else I read, that there is, in fact, a secondary set of holes. Let's take a look. Yeah, there's a second hole right there. That's the regular screw hole. Come on. Whatever. And... There's a second hole there. I'd like to reuse at least one of these on one of the two sides. 
but I may need to drop the second screw down in one of these other holes, or they also recommended using a fender washer to, um, to sort of hold the whole thing together. So we'll see what happens. Sorry for the turn video there. Let's plug in the cable. My arm is totally in the way, sorry about that. And we're in. Okay. Cables to the rear. We've got the wiring here. I'll just drop it right down. There's a lot of play in there. So I have to line one of these holes up, right? I mean, it really, it's got a lot of room. All right. Took a little break. Went ahead and got these screwed in. Took every ounce of my ability to get this back in. You'll notice that there is a hole right there in the flange of the speaker, but it turns out that the, I'm gonna best show this to you. The replacement screw went back into the same hole, but it has just the tiniest little bite on the edge of this flange that hangs out from the tweeter. The other one went back in. It looks like I could go a little further. It is, it's stable in there. I'm calling that good. It's not moving. It's good. All right, let's pop this cover back on. Okay, so I've rocked it out. It's got these little tangs on the back here. One, two, they do have a little bit of foam padding on them. That's nice, right? I guess that's a... Somebody smarter than me was like, hmm, this is my rattle. Let's put some foam on here. All right, let's tuck it in. Both sides. Well, that was easy. Okay, that is the easiest part. That's the easiest part. Uh, okay, we're going to move over to the passenger side, and then we will uh, give it another sound test. Let me go ahead and knock that out. Okay, the uh, cover's off. This is unscrewed, same process as the driver's side. Look at the scuffs. Look at that. Anyway, clean that up. All right, let's get this out. Damn it. Damn it. There you go. God, those really are like really lightweight. Sorry, caught up in looking at them. Okay, same as before. Kicker logo to the front. Connector to the rear. Here's the plug. I'm assuming I'll drop in the two screws the same way. Assuming. Mm. Here we go. Okay, good. I mean, okay, so I, it just, for the record, you have better, what, what's under there? Hold on a second. Something is under here. There's some big thing. Hmm. My hole's way over here. Not equal at all. See, it doesn't want to. Oh. Look at that. So this one goes in the opposite direction. Let me see if the hole lines up. Yeah, it does. Okay, for some reason, this one has to be rotated around for it to seat onto the, 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 the base inside here. So let me zoom in here. Let's see if I can get you a little bit closer. Okay. 
So this is sitting on the surface. If I put it in as I pulled the other one out, there's something. It's not, I mean, maybe it is. It doesn't feel like they're really having a It's not lining up. Nah, I don't like that. I can't make an executive decision. I'm turning this thing around. Hold on. Make sure I'm not just spinning it into infinity. That goes right in. Okay. We're going to go ahead and bolt this in. And just as a follow up, uh, I would like to say that it turns out the only tools you need for this project. Is a good healthy attitude, some sort of prying spatula, something non-marring, right? Not metal, not sharp. This doesn't have any paint on it, so it doesn't leave any residue. And then one of these guys, this guy right here. This is the, uh, it's the bee's knees. All right, I'm gonna carry on here. We get some of these screws seated in here. I have the screws up here in the front of the passenger dashboard in the little Twinkie tray in the outback wilderness. Let's drop this in here, and by drop it in here, I mean put it properly in the hole and not drop it down into the dashboard so it rattles around for infinity. I think that's it. Whew. All right, second one. Now this one, we're gonna take a look here. Let's take a look. I see the corner of it right there. I see it right there. That's where I need to put the other screw and let that let that lip of the screw hang over to press down on this to lock it into place. Good deal. All right, so like the other tweeter, this has the little flange of the screw that I put back in overlapping the, the plastic tang. It is locked in, but it is not screwed in. So, easiest part of the install, easier than removing, is the replacement of this panel. It's kind of like this. Boop, 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 boop. A couple extra boops just for fun. That's it, it's in. Okay. Dirty dashboard. Time to get that wiped off. We'll do another sound test. Before I get started, let's do a little wipe down. Oh yeah, I'm telling you what, man, this Norwex stuff makes things pretty. I'm not even using. I feel like I feel like grimace. Okay, good. Keep the other side. We'll do our sound sample. Same track, San Diego Kid, Chris Arms, off the Ocotillo Rose album. Let's get this quiet, we'll push play. So my hot take on this is that <clears throat> the new tweeters, without a doubt, are more crispy. You might think of it as 
fresh tortilla chips versus stale tortilla chips. They're both going to taste the same, but the texture is different. Uh, these are definitely clear. I'm going to do a com uh, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm going to do a comparison on the charts. Um, put them side by side. Take a look at them. Um, overall, though, I think that's a good track to use. It has lots of highs, lots of guitar strumming, some little fret sounds, things like that. So that's what I was going for. Uh, I hope everybody found this entertaining and educational. Always a good combo. I do recommend keeping one of these mitts in the car. Norwex makes these. Um, they just suck everything off the off the dashboard um, to keep it nice and clean. So uh, very good. I hope everybody enjoyed this, and I'll go ahead and uh, be uh, putting together another video once I get into the front door as well. Have a great day.